everyone. I hope you have had a good week. Well, this week we are reading from the book of Psalms in the Bible. And we actually have a special little storybook for you guys. So some of our friends from Creation Preschool sent in some photos to help us understand what this book is saying. Shall we have a read of it? It says, help, Psalm 142. When I am worried and my head feels like a spinning wheel, I know I can talk to God and tell him how I feel. When I am lonely and can't see any friends, I can talk to God. He is with me till the end. When I don't know what to do and just need some help, I can talk to God. He listens to every little yelp. When I am happy and everything is good, I can talk to my God as I always should. And on the back, all of Psalm 142. I hope you learnt something from that. Whether we are happy or whether we are sad, if we are scared or if we are lonely, anything that we are going through, we can talk to God because God loves us and he wants to help us. And you know what? Maybe we should talk to God right now, yeah? So why don't we put our hands together and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you will help us no matter what is going on in our lives. Please help us to remember to talk to you every day. Amen. We are going to sing a song now together and I'm pretty sure you should know this one. We are going to sing My God is so big and we're going to do the actions as well. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. That's true. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. That's true. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. Ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. That's true. All right, I hope you enjoyed that story, guys. Now we are gonna do some craft. And just like how we ask for God for help and he helps us, there's someone else in our lives who can be super helpful. Yeah, and we actually wanna celebrate them and say a big thank you this weekend because it's Mother's Day. So who are we saying help us? Our mums help us. And so we are going to make some Mother's Day cards for them. Now, dad or whoever is helping out make this craft i have linked um, a copy to this in the description below all right so you can print off your own version to make the same card that i am here so the first thing we're going to do it's a piece of paper that looks like this is i'm going to fold it in half so i want to make sure that the part that says a big happy mother's day is on the outside yeah so i folded that in half and then when i open it up that's what it looks like, yeah? Beautiful, good job. All right, I think that we should decorate the front, yeah? Let's start with that. Now you can decorate it however you want. I've got a couple of things. I've got some glitter glue. I love glitter and sparkles. I've also got some stickers and I've got some colorful pencils, but you could do whatever you want for this. Whatever you think your mom is gonna like and she will love anything. I'm gonna put some glitter in here. Oh, this is already looking amazing. Yeah, nice. And then I think, I like the color blue, so I'm gonna color this part in blue. Maybe you can decorate it in some things that your mum really likes. You know what your mum's favorite color is. Maybe you can be sneaky and ask your mum what she likes. Maybe she likes some flowers. Who knows, whatever you want. All right, that is my front all decorated. Now, I'm gonna use this blank page to decorate it however I want, yeah? So I'm gonna put some stickers in. I found some stickers. 
and I love animals and so does my mum so that's what I'm going to put on there so whatever you want maybe you could draw a picture of your family yeah that'd be pretty cool wouldn't it beautiful I'm going to draw a love heart as well gorgeous now on the inside I've written some words shall we read it together it says dear mum I love you so much. Thank you for helping me when you... And I've left some space. So I want you to write down something that your mum helps you with. Maybe your mum helps you to put some clothes on in the morning. Maybe your mum helps you to brush your hair. Maybe mum helps you to when she cooks food. Whatever you like, you're going to write down what mum helps you do. Because just like how we can ask God for help, we can ask lots of other people for help too, and especially our mums. I'm going to say, Mum, thank you for, so much for helping me when you make me food. Yum! I love food. And down the bottom, I'm going to write my name, love, from Megan. That's me. Beautiful. Well, you can keep decorating these cards as much as you would like. And that's what I put in there. I hope you have fun. Happy Mother's Day. Make sure you give your mum or whoever it is a big hug, yeah? We'll see you next time. Bye.